And so I was reading this, and I said, you know what this is shaping up to be? The devil is a liar. And we say that, and it's just like, hey, man, he's a liar. But what that means is, it's not that he can lie, it's that he is a liar. So nothing that he says, I don't care if it's a still, small voice, I don't care if it's a big thing, it is a lie. It is a lie. Your life is supposed to move in the opposite direction of what he is telling you. He's a liar. And I wrote that down, and I said, okay, he's a liar. We're supposed to flee from that, okay? Let's, let, let, let's keep moving on. And I think some of you all have to make a decision here today that everything as it pertains to my life is not up for discussion. Because that's what Satan did in the Garden of Eden. He got Eve into a discussion. Wow. <laughs> that's it. The plan of God was already laid out. What did the song say? I have everything I need. And not only did they have everything, they, they were everything. That they just, they were. God said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. And devil, devil came up and pulled up a chair and say, but are you really like him? Doesn't that sound like some of our thoughts? You'll get a prophetic word and you'll cry and they'll give you tissue and 10 steps back to your seat. The devil will remind you, yeah, but look what you did last night. Is that really going to happen? They just said three new businesses. You barely paid your mortgage last month. And so all he does is just pulls up a seat and just has a discussion. And, and, and if you're not careful, you'll entertain the discussion of a liar. And, and, and the voice that's the loudest and the voice that's the most consistent is the direction I'll go. That's it. And, 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 and you wonder why, well, the church is just irrelevant. I don't like coming to church. And No, 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 I'm coming to church to get the truth. I'm coming to church to get the truth. I, I, I surround myself with my parents to get the truth because that's what's going to line me up to what God has already prearranged and designed for me to walk in. And the enemy thinks he's slick. He said, I'll cause discord in the families. That's why I think it's so important to have these conversations. I'll have the kids thinking the parents are just too old and they don't get it. I'll have the parents, of, oh, ain't no, there's no help in this new generation. This generation is just too far gone. But I, I, came, I came to Chattanooga to, to announce this, that the devil is still a liar. He is restoring families. He's bringing us back together. And I'm telling you, we will fulfill the will of God for our lives. God desires a relationship with you. Not just praying when times get bad. I'm not, not just reading the scripture to get you motivated for the day. Not just, uh, okay, I'm going to come to church when I absolutely 100% feel like it. But he desires to take your everyday, ordinary life. And he says, give it to me. And I want to walk and I want to talk with you. I want to tell you what decision to make. I want to tell you what friends to cut off. I want to tell you what to wear. I want to tell you what to eat. I want to he wants to do life with us. Yes. Yes. Thank you, God. This conference is mission possible. Yes. You have to come to a resolve today that I am on a mission. I am on a mission. Some of you young people are in here, and I don't, you know, you, you may, if you're honest, it's saying, I really have never felt the presence of God. I want you right now, just to, because he's here in this room, I want you to lift your hands. Lift your hands. And this is just to show you that he's here and he's with you. Lift your hands in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you olders, minstrels, some of you, some of you that are in here and you have your heavenly language, go ahead and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Shikia rabandio rabasia shataya. Roba babandio shetele de robo santaya. And 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 what the enemy will try to do is He'll try to paint a picture where the facts of your life begin to almost look like they outweigh the truth of the word. Yeah. 
and you come to a service or you come around a man or a woman of God and they say you're special but the fact is I was abandoned by my parents my, 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 my mom and my dad didn't want me so the truth that I'm special I don't resonate with that and he wants the fact to be realer than the truth But in Jeremiah, he said, I've sanctified you. John 17, 17, he said, I've sanctified you with the truth of the word of God. He means I've set you aside and I've set you apart with the truth of the word of God. And it's our responsibility to fill ourselves up with so much truth that the fact about what I've been through is not outweighing the truth of what God has proclaimed and spoken over my life. And I'm talking to the person that was molested and abused and I'm talking to the person glory to God that was taken advantage of I'm talking to the person that gives 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 and everybody has given you their backside to kiss I'm talking to you God says there's a truth hanging over you and if you grab a hold to the truth in this season it's going to catapult you to a future that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard it hasn't even entered into your heart you think your life is over you think that what happened to your grandmother and what happened to your mom and what happened to your uncle and what happened in your bloodline is a truth for you but I'm here to declare that's a fact but it's not the truth hallelujah God said I have set your life life to be in alignment with the truth of the Word of God I want to use you I have plans to use you you are great and mighty in my eyes you are the apple of my eye hey you are on the forefront of my mind I love you today God wanted me to remind you this morning that the mistakes you made and the decisions you made he said that wasn't enough to push down my grace because where sin abounds grace abounds much more he said tell my people the truth that I am a loving father and I'm a good father y'all I'll tell you something sweeping in this room he said tell my people that it's nothing that they can do without me that I've already set the course of their life so all they can do is rest and those that have been burdened down with stress and those that have been burdened down trying to figure things out he said today I release rest in this house And some of you are in this room and desire to go deeper. And it's like, look, God, I feel a call to deeper. And I feel like you want to take me deeper. What do I have to do? He said, remind them that there's nothing they have to do. Just walk with me and talk with me and, and be with me and receive my love and receive my mercy and receive my forgiveness and receive a new start. And I'm telling you, something is sweeping in this room. I said the old things are passed away. I said the old things are passed away. I said, come on, prices. The old things are passed away. And God said, I'm setting your feet on a new course. Hey, 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 hey. He said, I'm setting your feet on a new course. And it will be beyond anything that anybody in your family has ever done. So you can't even go to family for advice. Because he said, I'm doing a new thing. Shall you not perceive it? Huh? I'm doing a new thing. And just like I made ways in the wilderness and I provided streams in the desert, I'm doing a new thing, new thing, new thing. New thing. New thing for surely I've called your house. I have 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 called your house. <laughs> hey. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but I, just as a prophetic demonstration, I dare some of you all just to be so bold and just as a prophetic demonstration, take that fact that has been weighing you down it has been weighing you, uh, this is the last year that will not weigh me down what happened 15 years ago. 
I dare you as a prophetic demonstration to run up to this altar and put that fact on the altar and say, God, I give you that fact. I lay a hold of your truth. Come on, I dare you to be bold. I don't care what fact it is. Run to this altar. Give it to him. Give it to him. He said, cast your cares on me. For I care for you. Cast your cares on me. I don't care what they did. I don't care what you went through. He said, give me the fact. And I'm going to give you my truth. Give me the fact. And I'll give you my truth. Some of you all, the fact may be just a, a, a spirit of fear. You tried to step out on faith. You tried to do it and it didn't work. And it's like, God, I thought I was doing everything right. And you were doing everything right. But it's for the appointed time. And he said, I want you to step out again. I want you to try it again. He said, so give me that fact. Give me that fact. I hear the Lord say, try it again. I hear the Lord say, try it again. Oh, my Glory to God. Release it. Release it. Just as a prophetic demonstration, release it. Release it. And when you go back, I will not be thinking and contemplating on that fact anymore. I know I did that. I know that was my humanity. But no longer will that keep me bound. New thing. 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 Presence of the Lord is all over you. The presence of the Lord is all. That's God. Ramandio Shataya. Just lift your hands like you're reaching up to your daddy. Oh, he loves you. Oh, he wants to do life with you. Shanda Rabba Sokoto Rabba Sataya. Oh, Rabba Baba 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 Hey, that's it. You got to let it out, though. Don't be ashamed. You have to let it out. You have to let that out. Let go of that fact. You won't bring that fact home with you. I said, let it out in Jesus' name. Oh, Rabba Sotaya. Something's breaking in this room. Come on, y'all pray for this generation. Let it go. Let it go. You have a right to be hurt. You have a right to be hurt, but it's keeping you from the blessing. Hey, release the hurt. Oh, he's going to use it. Come here. God wants to give. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're going to be very surprised this school year because God's going to change you in such a way and people will begin to be drawn to you and they're going to say, everything that you do, I want to do. And you're going to be very instrumental to bringing people. You go to this church, right? And they're going to come and they're going to follow you. And you have a strong influence on your life. And I know you think because I'm quiet and I'm, I'm just not that vocal. But God said that has nothing to do with influence. But God said he wants to use you. Have you ever felt the presence of God over you? Hallelujah. Have you ever felt that before? Lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Come on, lift it up high. It's already here. You feel it right now. And it's like tingling right here. Right here. And it's almost like a heat that's coming through your body. That's the presence of God. Now I just want you to take a deep breath and let it out. That's the presence of God. Just close your eyes and receive it. Just receive it. Oh, that's the presence of God. He wants, to know, he wants you to know that he's with you and that you're different and you will not fit in and you will always stand out. And I know sometimes it seems lonely and it seems like, what, why does no one want to be my friend? Like, why, why is everybody liking this person? But God said, I've called you to a season of consecration. Glory to God. It's the presence of God. That's the presence of God. I said, that's the presence of God. And he said, in my presence, there's fullness of joy. So even on those days where you feel sad and you feel like no one understands you, God said, I've sent you my presence 
to fill you with joy. And he says, I know you. No matter who doesn't understand you, I know you. And I've called you to be peculiar, and I've called you to be chosen, and I've called you unto a royal priesthood. There's going to be a boldness in you this season. Hallelujah. Oh, have you, ever, have you ever knelt at the altar before? I want you to kneel at the altar. And it's an act of surrender. Let me do it with you. It's an act of, because we got to teach this generation what this altar means. The altar is a place of change. And the way you came up here, you will not leave. And so every time I kneel at the altar and I lift my hands in surrenderance to God, oh, help me, Jesus. I say, God, take everything that I am right now. God, take everything that I am, God. Take all of the imperfections, God. Take it all, Jesus. Take it all, Jesus. Oh, God, do a change in this generation. Oh, God, he wants to introduce himself to you. The altar is a place of change. It's where people transition from this earthly realm to heaven. We, we put them at the altar. We bring people to the altar when they marry and they change their last names. But some of you all just need to come to the altar with outstretched hands and say that old season, I'm changing from that old season, that old me, that old situation. The old way I approach things, the old way I think about things, I'm changing today. The devil said he, he seeks who he, who he, whom he may devour. And you know what he's looking for? He's looking for an unclaimed altar. He's looking for young people. He's looking for older people who have not totally devoted themselves to God. And he says, I don't care about you doing good, and I don't care about you making good grades. I care if you have not given your heart to Christ. And he said, if you haven't given your life to Christ, you're my bait. And we live in a generation where everything goes and everything's free flowing and it's just, here's my truth and, and this is just what I think is right. But you're in danger. Listen to me. You're in danger. He's looking for unclaimed altars. God doesn't lead their life. God doesn't decide what they do. So I can set up shop here. But I believe there's about five young people here tonight, today that says, today I make a decision. I don't know what that decision means, but you five, you come to me. I'm giving my life to Christ. I'm dedicating my heart to Christ. Is that you? Are you one of them? You're making, come here. Hallelujah. Hey, lift your hands. The presence of God is all over you. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Oh, let it out. Oh, that's God. It's the making a decision. Who else making a decision today? Who's making a decision? Is that you? I make a decision today. You come boldly. I'm making a decision. No longer the same. No longer the same. No longer my way. No longer being led by friends. And no longer trying to fit in when I'm supposed to stand out. I'm making a decision. Make a decision today in Jesus' name. Come on, who else is making a decision? That's you? Come on, glory to God, lift your hands. I make a decision, I give my heart to Christ today. Oh, I give my heart to Christ today. Come on, I need some help. Hallelujah, come right here, come right here, come right here. Those that are making decisions, come here. Bold for Christ, bold for Christ. I'm gonna stand for something. Who else is that? Who's saying that's me? I'm making a decision today. Who else is that? Who is it? That's you? That's you? Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Lift your hands. I'm making a decision today. No longer will you be the same. No longer. Oh, I feel the presence of God in here. Who is that? Who else is making it? Is that you? Are you making a change? Are you making a decision today? Oh, the presence of God. Lift your hands like you're reaching up to your daddy because he loves you. Oh, Rabbasar, you make, I've been waiting on you. You're making a decision today? You're giving your heart to Christ. No longer you. Oh, oh, Shanda Rabbasotoya. Come on, I need some help. Are you making a decision today? You're making a decision today. No longer the same. You're living for God and God alone. He loves you.
loves you. Glory to God. You're making a decision today. You want to be with God. Oh, Shana, the presence of God is all over him. Robo, watch him. Robo, Sataya. Don't be scared. That's God. He loves you. He loves you. You're making a decision today. You're making a decision today. I'm telling you, those tears that you cried, no longer will you cry. Those tears that you've cried, no longer you feeling bad about yourself, hold your head up. You are a queen. You are, you are God's beloved. He loves you. He loves you. I don't know if you've heard that from a lot of different people, but he wants me to tell you that he loves you. What's your name? Jada. He loves you. 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 The real you. You don't have to do anything. He loves you. You believe that? It doesn't matter if you don't. He's going to show you his goodness. And he's going to show you his love. This is going to be, what grade are you going to? You going to the sixth grade? This is going to be the best school you what, what, what kind of grades do you make? I'm talking about straight A's. You want to go to college? What do you want to do when you get older? God's going to blow your mind this year. It's going to be so exciting. It's going to be so exciting. No more bad news for you. No more bad news for you. No more bad. I'm, I'm speaking from heaven for you. No more bad news for you. Good news. Good news. Now just lift your hands like you're reaching up. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. High as you can. High as you Give me this phone. Uh-huh. High as you can. High as you can. Reach up, 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 up. Up, 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 and you don't have to change anything about you. You're beautiful just the way God designed you. In Jesus' name. You're here to make a decision. Give your heart to Christ. Follow Jesus. It's the best decision you can ever make. Do you pray? You have the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Do you pray in tongues? Have you ever been filled with the baptism of the Have you ever seen anybody pray in tongues? You don't know what they're saying. Do you have a desire? It's the spirit of truth. And when you have the spirit of truth abiding in you, when all the lies from Satan, they try, he's going, oh, I see, I see him trying to give you a lot of lies. Oh, because you are powerful. You are, and you are a determined young lady. And when you make up your mind, you're going to do what you make up your mind. So I see him trying to send a lot of lies to you. But today you're about to be filled with the spirit of, are you born again? You've given your heart to Jesus Christ. We're going to make sure. We're going to make sure before you leave that you are born again. And then we're going to, I'm talking about we're going to lay hands and impart the spirit of truth with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And it's almost going to overtake you. And it's the spirit of truth on the inside of you in Jesus' name. Jesus. You've given your life to Christ? Have you already given your life to Christ? Yeah. You have. So you're coming to rededicate. Yeah. Awesome decision. And what you're saying is, I gave my life to Christ, but now I'm being fully devoted. And, and now you get to wake up and not have to worry about, what do I do today? God, what do you want me to do today? And it's a peaceful life. Are you you're a smart guy? Thank you. Are you? I'm asking you. Are you smart? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh... Like science? What's your favorite subject right now? Probably history, but I'm, I'm a major in accounting. How old are you? I'm 18. I'm a freshman in college. Where? What school? Chet State. County. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I came over here, are you a, are you a giver? You sow? You sow money? You sow seed? I give a lot, yeah. I, because I see a grace of giving on you, and not everybody has that. This is what he promised you, I will give seed to sowers. I see you as a financier for the kingdom of God. So not only will you be managing money, but you'll have a whole lot of it. 
and, and, and he'll be able to trust you with it because you'll know what to do. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be. But you're, you're a big giver. I, I declare that over your life, a six-figure giver. Thank you, Lord. Now, what you can't do is look at your current bank account because it's not going to match up to what I'm just saying. But I've peeked inside your future, and you are a six-figure giver. So if you're giving that, you know how much you... God just told me to give this to you. I'm going to give you seed to sow in Jesus' name. I believe in sowing into good ground. Jesus' name. Glory to God. You're giving your life to Christ. Hallelujah. Young Josiah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Never be the same. Never be the same. God's going to show himself real to you. Real. Not church. Real. And he's going to talk to you. And he's going to comfort you. And I see like a spirit of grief trying to weigh you down. But I break it in Jesus' in name. Jesus name. I break it in Jesus' name. I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm talking to that spirit. And I command you to come up and out in Jesus' name. Come, let her go. Let her go. Let her go. I said, let her go. Let her go. Now you have to let it go. But I command you to let it go. Jesus name. Let her go. In Jesus let her go. Let her go. You will not torment her mind anymore. Jesus. I see depression trying to creep on you. <laughs> but in the name of Jesus, <laughs> I remove the pressure <laughs> off of your life. <laughs> let it out. <laughs> let it go. 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 In Jesus' name. Hey, Shandi Robo Hosataya. Oh, Rebe Bebe Oshata, for that spirit of heaviness. Oh, replace it, God. Give her a garment of praise. Glory to God. A garment of praise. Woo, your praise is about to go through the roof. Come on, there it is. 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 Oh, give him praise. Give him praise. I said, give him praise. Give it. Oh, 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 oh. oh, give him praise. Can somebody pray? You, it's your friend. It's your friend. And you're a praiser. Oh, I feel a, a fresh wind about to land on your praise. A fresh wind. Do you write songs? You write songs. I, I, the Lord is about to give you fresh songs for the kingdom of God. Thank you, Jesus. And, and, and where, where you, where you have stopped doing that, because it's like I'm just not really hearing anything, I hear a fresh wind coming to you. And it's going to re cause relief in this generation. And it's going to cause relief. I see peace being released in your house right now. And where you used to get up in the morning and begin to praise God, God said, I'm gonna, you're going to do that again, but this time it's going to be fresh. And it's going to, be, it's going to put a peace. And when people come to your house, they're going to say, I sense a peace. And I see a secret place. God said, give me a secret place in your house, and that's where the songs will begin to flow. And there's going to be such an abundance of peace. You're going to rest in peace. You're going to rest in peace. You hear me? Rest in peace. No more will you be tossing and turning. And popping up in the middle of the night. That old tormenting spirit, I curse you in Jesus' name. Peace is in your house. I'm gonna come back. Gabe, G A B E. Gage. Gage. Coming back to you. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Are y'all sisters? You're not twins, are you? Just sisters. Beautiful. Who's older? How old are you? Fifteen. You go to this church? You do. Mm. How old are you? Thirteen. Now be honest with me. Y'all argue? Mm -hmm. But the Lord wants me to tell you that it's a trick from the devil because you're better together. So I want you guys to operate. I want you first to receive that God loves you and he's going to in turn allow you all to love each other. Ooh, my God. Two is better than one. And I see a dynamic duo. And God wants to do things with you all together. I also see business. There's a business that you all will begin. And you said you're 15 or 17. Uh, have you received a business idea? Is this something you want to do? If you haven't received it, it's coming. And it's going to come to you. And you all are going to be business. I see young millionaires. They're, they're, God's about to give you a, he's about to give you a vision and then you're going to say you're going to tell your sister that's how I know it's going to be you're going to tell, I got an idea Thank you, Jesus. that lady came and she told me I'm going to have an idea you're going to have a business idea and you're not going to wait till you're 30 and 40 and 50 and 60 but he's about to give you an idea and this idea is going to be contingent on your sister assisting you and you all are going to be millionaires at a young age Now, what the enemy is trying to get you to do right now, because I sense it, is trying to remind you of how impossible that is. But this is the Mission Possible Conference. And what God says is a truth. So, what I want you all to start doing is getting to know each other. I want you to figure out what she likes. I want you to figure out what she likes. I want you to figure out what bothers her. I want you to figure out what bothers her because y'all are about to be business partners and the devil doesn't want it. He wants poverty to be a part of your life. He wants struggle to be a part of your life. There are some things that you desire that you can't afford right now, uh, ma'am. Is that true? And he wants you to be bitter and he wants you to be jealous of other people that have it. But God said, I have already set it up for you to be a millionaire. And it's going to be hinging on the relationship you have with, lift your hands. God said he loves you so much. He said he's restoring this sisterhood bond. And because you stepped down here in courage and you weren't looking around and making sure everybody accepted what you did, he said, I'm restoring this sisterhood and y'all are going to have a love for each other and you guys are going to forgive one another and you guys are going to show grace to one another. And God said, after that, hey, he said, I'm I'm going to give the oldest the vision and the business will flow in Jesus name. Glory to God. Glory to God. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If my memory serves me correctly, Daniel, Daniel in the Bible was four. And he said that these young men operated not only in excellence, but they operated in the wisdom of God. I've already declared that here, but I see here. And where people have tried to disqualify you, said you're not a thinker, said you're not, you don't get it, there's the wisdom of God. And you all will begin to operate in such a level of wisdom and excellence in everything you do and everything that you're a part of that you will begin to be preferred and you will have preferential treatment. And beware, beware of friends that will be jealous because I don't want you to be crippled by this level of favor that's going to come upon you. And I don't want you to be ashamed of the wisdom that will far exceed your time and your life here on earth. 
But thus said the Lord, I will bring you before kings. Thank you, God. And you will stand and you will say, this wisdom is from God. Thank you, Jesus. And you will not be ashamed of the gospel. You will not be ashamed that this was the impartation of God upon my life. You will be bold for Christ. Are y'all ready? You four, are you ready? You will be bold for Christ. And you will not follow the trends. They got Daniel together and they said, we want you to eat the king's meat. And we want you guys to do this. And he said, that's not what I serve and that's not what I do. And, and, I, and I'm not going to go with the trends of this. I, I tell you what, if you allow me to operate under the standard of my God, I'm going to show you that I'm stronger and I'm wiser and I'm more excellent than all of these others. And God said, I'm going to put you on a pedestal to show my wisdom through. And he said, I'm calling out of you for a gentleman, leadership abilities. No longer will you stand back. No longer will you try to hide. No longer will you not step up to the plate. But God said leaders, and you will become leaders to take the mantles from the other men in this house, in this church. You will grab the microphones next. You will grab the brooms next. You will grab, you will be the next prophets and teachers and instructors of God's goodness. Are you ready to receive this impartation? Every level of impartation leads to a greater level of manifestation. I tell you what, Pastor Ivan, can I get you, sir? Man of God, Paul, can I get you, sir? Hey, Rabbi Sotoya, can I get you, sir? Hallelujah, can I get you, sir? I want you to stand and I want you to just begin to give an impartation. And the Lord said this is a transfer, hallelujah, from one generation to the next. And just lay your hands upon these men of God, for they're taking the mantle. They're taking the mantle. Yes, Rabbi Sotoya. No longer will women outweigh in the church, but we're raising up strong men, strong young men, men of God. It is so. It is so. It is so. You'll never know. You'll never know. Oh, Rabba Soturiki Amasotaya. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Where's Gage? Gage, come over here. Hallelujah. Mom, come here. Gage, mom. Hallelujah. Come over here. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. For this child you prayed. And you presented him and you placed him in the things of God like Hannah. And God said, because you honored me in that way, I'm going to use him. And he's going to be a game changer. For this child you pray. And I hear God saying, you don't have to worry. He's not going to turn out that way. He's not going to turn out that way. He is in new, he has stepped into Christ. And he, he, he has a new life in Christ. Old things are not just passed away, but they are disconnected. Yes. Glory. Gage, do you know the voice of God? He said, my voice is going to sound like... My voice is going to sound like your mom's voice. <laughs> And your mom's not going to be there, but you're going to start hearing voices and it's going to sound like your mom because that's your instructor. And it was an instance in the Bible where Hannah prayed for her son and his name was Samuel. And she said, if you give me this son, I'm going to give him to the temple. And he went to the temple and I, I see your love for God. I see your involvement in God. And that's why God told me, don't group him. You, you, Gage, I have a word for Gage. 
And he's going to use you like a Samuel. And Samuel was... <laughs> Sorry, I feel drunk in the Holy Ghost. Samuel was sleeping. And Eli said, Samuel. He, he thought it was Eli calling him. He's Samuel. He went to Eli and said, Eli? Did she call me? He said, no, I didn't call you. Go to bed. And he went back to bed and, Samuel! He went back and said, Eli, yes, sir, you called me. He said, no, that wasn't me. He went back again and heard, Samuel! He went back and said, yes, sir, Eli, you're calling me. He said, that isn't me, but it's God calling you. And his voice sounds like my voice. And I want you to go back and say, what do you require of me? What do you want me to do? You're a special, special, special young man. Thank you, God. And you're not afraid to say anything. <laughs> Most truth tellers are like that. Truth tellers have the gift of prophecy. And God said, I'll use what I innately put on the inside of you. And I'm going to start having conversations with you. And I want you to go to your mom and say, Mom, what does this mean? And God's about to give you supernatural revelation. And he's going to give you the interpretation of dreams and the interpretation of visions. And you're going to begin hand in hand training and teaching a prophet to the nations. And you'll begin to see about 15 years from now and say, look what the Lord has done. And it's marvelous. And so I want you to know that your investment is not in vain. For this child you prayed is a prophet unto the nations. In Jesus' name. Come on, receive that now. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Another level. Another level. And mom, I hear Joel 2 and 25, and he said, I will restore the years that the canker worm and the palmer worm and the caterpillar have eaten away. And he said, I will restore those things unto you. I mean, I will restore those things unto you. You haven't lost out on time. You haven't missed out on time. He said, I will restore those things unto you. Oh, I will restore those things unto you. Oh! I said every one of them, 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 every month, every day, every one of them. He said, I will restore, I will restore. I won't just make it better, I will restore, I will restore, I will restore. I will restore. Gage, that's the presence of God. It's all over you. That's the presence of God. That's the presence of God. That's the presence of God. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And, and you've been overlooked in your life. And, and, and you have been almost forgotten about in your life. And God says there, this, is a, this is a picture of David where they lined up seven. He said, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. He said, go in the field and you bring me David. And I hear that God said, in this season, I'm going to anoint you in the presence of your enemies. And I want you to begin to hold your head up high, not because you're all good and grand, but because God is on the inside of you. And you're an ambassador of the Most High God. And square your shoulders. Come on, change your posture. Change your, square your shoulders. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Glory to God. God said, I've chosen you. I have chosen you. I have chosen you. And it's because of your heart. 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 Of your heart. And he wants me to remind you that he loves you. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you for your love. 
chosen, chosen, separated, sanctified, appointed in a kingly way. Where do you where do you work? Oh, I don't work. What what do you how how old are you? Fifteen. You're fifteen. You don't work. Do you want to work? Yes. Where do you want to work? Mm, I want to work at Starbucks, but they won't hire me until I'm sixteen. Until you, when do you turn sixteen? June twenty third. What did she say? June twenty third. Whose it's birthday is birthday. June twenty third? <laughs> my birthday is June twenty third. <laughs> I knew it was going to be somebody here. Yeah, this, is, this word is for you. What are you believing God for? What are you hoping in your heart to happen? That I get blessed. Uh huh. And, um, well, I guess for the goodest life I can have. You go to the church? Mm -hmm. You're part of Heat? Mm, kind of. I need you to be a part of Heat. I need you to be a part of heat because I need you to serve. June 23rd, let me tell you this testimony really quickly. I was uh, 15 years old, and I was believing God. I don't know if you remember, but they used to have this show on TV called Sweet 16. And I was believing God at 15 for a Sweet 16 party, and I said, I want it big. <laughs> I don't put a limit on God. I want it big. And I said, I want it at the Civic Center in my, in my city. I didn't ask my parents how much money they had or how much it cost. And I said, I want an all-black Range Rover to roll in my party like they did on Sweet 16. I didn't know what kind of faith pressure I was putting out there, but I believe my God can do it. And I, I got a revelation about sewing. And I started sewing into my parents, which is my man and woman of God. And I didn't have anything at first because I was 15. I was without a job. And I started finding quarters on the street. <laughs> I said, I have seed to sew. And I would put on there Sweet 16 and an all-black Range Rover, specifically to roll into my party for my Sweet 16 party. And I was doing that. And uh, my quarters went to dollars, and my dollars went to five dollars. My five dollars went to 25, and 25 went to 100. And I was 15, and I was sowing major seed into the kingdom of God and into my man and woman of God. I'm teaching you a principle here. Seed, time, and harvest, it always works. And uh, my parents were up north visiting a, a ministry friend. And uh, he said, well, why don't you and your wife come over to my house? for lunch. And he said, don't go through the front door, go through the garage because we're doing some work. And they said, okay. And they went into the garage and can you imagine what was in the garage? It was an all black Range Rover. And my dad said, that's my daughter's car. He was just calling and forth because we were calling, we were just calling and forth, that's mine. He said, what did you say? He said, that's my daughter's car. She's believing God for that for the sweet 16. He said, well, me and my wife are praying for who to sow this vehicle into. They were all the way up north at a conference. And so June 20th comes around. I wasn't nervous because I knew my party was going to be at the Civic Center and I was going to have a black Range Rover to pull in. Yes, and they started presenting gifts and I think one of the gifts was a shirt and a dress and I said, I thank God for it, but I'm looking for some keys. <laughs> and uh in the Civic Center, they let the garage up, and an all-black Range Rover pulled in on June 23rd, our birthdays. And at a very young age, I had an encounter where I knew, God, there's nothing you can't do. And so I just felt like I needed to tell you that, to think big and dream big and nothing small. And you are a princess, and you are a queen in training. You hold your shoulders back. Like every room you enter, God sent you there. Yes. And when you ask him for something, you ask because we serve a big God. Yes, God. A big God. But I want you to be a part of heat. It's going to be very, tr tell me your name. Hosanna. Hosanna. 
Pastor Price, I want you to speak to Pastor Dominique Price. And she's going to teach you a lot. Hosanna. Heat. Trust me. Is this your sister? What's your name? Kenya. What grade are you going to? And you're very smart, right? You like school? This is going to be a really good school year for you. You love Jesus? Do you sing? Have you ever tried playing the piano? Yeah. Let me see your hands. Father, I anoint her hands to play as an anointed minstrel. And this won't be because of lessons. But these hands will play songs of deliverance. Yeah. Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anointed minstrel in Jesus' name. Do you know what minstrel is? I want you to look that up and I want you to teach her what that is, okay? Okay. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Cameron, I met you before. I know you don't remember me, huh? Okay. He said he remembered me from somewhere, but he forgot. God loves you. You love Jesus? Come on, lift your hands. You've given your life to Christ today. You've given your heart to him and say, God, just all of you, awesome decision. Awesome. Close your eyes and just imagine Jesus sitting on a big throne chair and he's right before you. And I want you to imagine this. I want you to imagine him smiling at you. And just imagine this with your eyes closed. Imagine like a, a great big bright light that's shining your way. Are you imagining that? Can you see it? Can you see Jesus sitting on the throne? Can you see him smiling at you? I want you to imagine him telling you that I love you. And I knew you before you were even born. And I knew what your life would be. And I've been watching you. And I have some great things planned for you. Imagine that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's so proud of you. So proud of you. In Jesus' name. It is well. It is well. It is well. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. White hat. Lift your hands up. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Now you've experienced the presence of God. And you've heard his voice. Who, who are her mentors over here in this section? Mentors? Mentors? Hallelujah. Pastor Price? Dom Pastor Dominique? Pastor Kay, do you mind? Thank you, Lord. 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 Pastor Kay, can you just put your hands on her belly? Women of God, can you touch her back? And I'm going to touch your forehead. It's okay. Don't take it off. It's okay. I got you, sis. But this is a four-level impartation. And everything that we went through, you won't have to go through. Oh, glory to God. Now I want you to lift your hands. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. 
And women of God just begin to impart all. May she go further. May she go faster. May she draw more souls to the kingdom of God. The heartache and the heartbreak. She will not experience what God brought us through and brought us over. It will not be so. Oh, oh my God. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I just transfer wisdom. Wisdom. Lord, we transfer discernment. Lord, we transfer grace. What took us years to get, you'll get in this moment of impartation. Thank you, Lord. Come on, don't resist that. Just yield to the presence of God. Yield to the oh, and Yield to the presence of God. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Oh, Ooh, never again the same. Never again the same. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Never again. Thank you, God. Thank you, oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Never again will you be the same. Never again will your life be the same. Never again. And you'll go to younger girls and you'll do what just took place with us, with you, and it'll pass down to them. And then they'll go to younger girls. And what, 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 what you put on them, they'll put on someone else. And that level of impartation will get stronger and it will grow. And I, I call young ladies back from trends into truth. And, and you will be a truth teller and you will lead them into the things of God. Never again will you be the same. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. I, th I thank you for being sensitive to the spirit of God this morning. And I thank you for giving the young people an opportunity to experience the weight of glory and the presence of God. For his presence is what you need to ensure that your kids have as they go back to school. And there's no way. All of these new things that are popping up, we don't even have to worry about counteracting them when the spirit of truth is on the inside of our students and our kids. It will lead them. He will lead them and he will guide them into the divine plan for their lives. Come on, lift your hands. Let's pray and let's be dismissed. Lord, I thank you for what took place wasn't just an event, but it was a reminder of who you are and you are truth. And your truth endures unto all generations. Lord, we thank you that in the name of Jesus, the generation gap that was once there is no longer. Lord, thank you for opening up communication with parents and siblings and opening up communication within the families and opening up, reuniting the church as a body. For there is an army that is arising. And this army will understand how to do life with you. Glory to God. This army will be void of religion and traditions, but know how to do life with you. So God, I thank you for your touch today. I thank you for your words today. I thank you for confirmation that was released today. I thank you for every decision that was made today. I thank you that you protected Protect every heart and protect every mind with the decision that they made boldly at the altar, Lord God. They will not shrink back. They will not change their mind. But I thank you for transformation. Never be the same. In Jesus' name. 
Come on, somebody give God praise and shout amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, you may be seated in the presence of God really quick. Let's give God some praise for this. Yes. Hallelujah. This awesome word and impartation. And, you know, all I could do was sit there and cry and say, God, you know what? Just like he always do. That was a heart cry of ours that this not just be just a time to come and jump and dance. That's all that's great. But we believe, God, we put forth our petition for this to be a spiritual encounter for these young people. And to my Numa fam, I just want to say thank you so much. You sowed, you gave, you put your whole heart into making this a success. And I just pray my prayers that you see the importance of this conference and the reason why we have to do it. These young children, are, are they're going through and they're fighting through so much. And we have to be the answer. We have to be the people that they come to to get the answers. And it's not so much about what we're saying, but it's about how we're living. And we want them to be able to find people that they can point to and say, that's the kind of life I want. That's how I want to be. That's the kind of life I desire that I know God has for me. I just need to be pointed in the right direction of how to get there. So we put all of this into this for these moments like this, and it's not over. We have the baptism pool out there, and we're going to be baptizing. If you've never been baptized, or if you came up to the altar, trust me, it's hot enough that you'll dry off in five minutes. <laughs> but we're just believing that dunk will change your life forever. Well, we're serving notice to the kingdom of darkness that he will not prevail in this generation. What, that we're raising a generation of game changers. And they'll realize that there's nothing the world has to offer that's in comparison to what God has freely given them. That all they have to do is receive it. So with, as soon as this is over, meet us out front. We'll grab the youth pastors, dad, whomever, and we're going to go out there and we're going to be baptizing children. You know, to my father, I say thank you. Thank you. He has always given this ministry free reign as long as Jesus was in it. As long as we can see Jesus in it, I want y'all to do it. And he's never held us back. He's always let us go forth, and we just keep pushing the edge, keep pushing the envelope. We get persecuted for it, but we don't care. Because God has obviously blessed this house. And we know that we're just extensions of the foundation that's been poured into us. And I get, I get, you know, just, I get to get excited this morning when I was getting dressed. All I could sense was my mother smiling. <laughs> and I was talking to her and she was so happy and she was so excited because she loved the youth. And she was youthful. Y'all know if she'd have been here with Dominator, she'd have been right in the middle. And I knew, I said, we're making heaven smile this weekend. And that nothing thrills me more than that. All right. So again, it's the thank you to every sponsor. We'll go over those. I'll pass it over for them to close out. But thank you for everyone who gave. I don't care if you gave $5, $10, $1,000. It was because of you that we were able to make this happen. And to my sister, my little, oh, I just love, I don't like calling people little sis so much because I'm not demeaning her in that light, but I recognized early the moment I met her, the callings of God that was on her life. And I knew when our families are so parallel, her dad reminds me of my dad, her mom reminds me of mom. It's just, when she was ministering, I could see her mom and dad just flowing in, and I was like, oh, that's Pastor Alicia right there. <laughs> she put her hands in her pocket. I said, uh-oh, I know that anointing. And then teaching, I said, oh, that's Uncle Creighton right there. That's, <laughs> you can just see all of these things, but I just knew in my newer that God was going to use her in such an awesome way. So I thank you for coming and sharing and imparting to this youth. Let's give her another hand. Yes. All right, Paul, if you could escort our guest out. You're gonna, we're going to receive our offering. 
All right. We need to keep sowing and giving. So they're going to put on the screen how you can give, how you can sow. And you say, well, Pastor Kay, I didn't get a chance to get my offering in for MP22. It's not too late. You can still sow because how many of you know this conference, this is only the kickoff. It's not the end. We'll keep going. We'll keep doing things. I think the last time I checked on Friday, I think it was like $1,800 away from the budget being totally met. Yeah, give God some yes, amen. praise for that. So we want to be a blessing. So when you're sowing today, pay your tithe, but also note MP22. We're going to sow that. We want to be a blessing to Minister Andrea. Put that in the MP22, and we're going to give that right to her, okay? But in the meantime, while you're sowing your tithe and your offering and giving your seed and sowing, I love those principles about giving seed to the sower. Look, look what the investment that you've made this weekend. You've blessed a whole generation and generations to come after them, all right? So I'm going to turn this over. Do you have anything else? Honey? All right, we'll be covering. You got 500, all right, there we go. Hallelujah, give God some praise. He just keeps showing out, don't he? Just like God. All right. Hallelujah. We'll take those interruptions. Those are good interruptions. All right. So thank you so much for every parent, every auntie, uncle, grandma, whomever you are that sold. We're going to take some time today. We've been here a little while today. We normally don't be in church this long, but it's a conference, and it was well worth it, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. Amen. They've got some food outside waiting on you, so it's, it's okay. You don't have to wait in line at Cracker Barrel today. <laughs> you got there. I heard they got some hot fish. <laughs> yes, for real. Yes. That grease is anointed. You're going to be all right today. That anointed oil out there, all right? So you'll be able to go out there and enjoy the festivities, hang out with your family, and do all of those things. So, again, I say thank you. We'll go over the sponsors. And I, there's no way I'm going to start calling names to say thank you right now, all right? Because we will leave somebody out and all this kind of thing. So we're going to come back and put your names up and do all that stuff. We will honor you properly for honoring this conference. So again, on behalf of our family, thank you so thank much. You. Pastor uh, Ladares and Dominique, y'all come on up. And y'all pray of the offering and y'all give us the final. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oof. I can barely stand up. Yeah. I feel like my face felt. So with that being said, stand to your feet. Yes. Stand to your feet. Yes. Hallelujah. Once again, thank you all so much. Thank I mean, you, this is it's been exactly what we confessed and what we prayed for. We know without a shadow of a doubt that this conference has been life changing. And God has spoken to me. It hadn't just been life-changing for the youth. It's been life-changing for the adults yes, as well. Yes, absolutely. And so we are very, very grateful. Okay? All right. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're going to pray over our offering. We are extremely grateful. We know that this ministry is hot and fertile soil. And we're just... We just, Father God, we thank you. Let's say our confessions right now. Say our confessions. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Because we're givers. Because we're givers. We will reap the blessings of God. We will reap the blessings of God. As tithers. As tithers. We believe now. We believe now. We receive. We receive. The windows of heaven's blessings. The windows of heaven's blessings. Which are doors of opportunity. Which are doors of opportunity. And financial wisdom. And financial wisdom. And insight. And insight. Father. Father. Because we're giving offerings. Because we're giving offerings. We thank you now in advance, we thank you now in advance for, financial for financial favor as you raise up others, you raise up others to, use their power to use their power and influence, and influence to, help us. to help us. Thank you, Father, thank you, Father for, a for a plan of action, the wisdom of God, the wisdom of God and the favor of men. And, the favor of men. and if need be, and if need be a, miracle a miracle in our situation. In our situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are we announcing the winner? Yes, we okay. All right, I'm, I'm arrested. I can't move. Um, we are excited to go ahead and announce our winner, our team that brought the most teams over this, this three-day weekend. It's just been phenomenal. Our winner of $250 of gift cards worth 
gift cards. I can't speak, y'all. I'm 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 caught up. It's Jada Rainey. Wow. Woo! Jada. Come on, Jada. Come on, Jada. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Look, we're going to get on out of here. I want to say this. I don't want to put her on the spot. But even just last night, you know, we were in the back, me, her, Minister Lauren, uh, Pastor Kay, Pastor Cynthia, and we had some young people to come. And when I tell you that that young lady, God has a serious mandate on her life. And he's going to use her in such a way because she is not afraid to live for Christ out loud and Hallelujah. out in the open. And we've said it a hundred times in this day and time, it can be challenging for our young people to say, I love God out in the open. When you've gone through what we've gone through as adults, it's easier but for them, because they're faced with so much, it can be harder. But she's already decreed and declared she's going to live for Christ out in the open. And so that brings extreme joy to our heart as heat leaders. And so we are very, very grateful for all our heat babies. Thank you all so much yes. for investing the time that you invested. Thank you for being here over this entire weekend. And we know that your lives will never be the same. You got something else? One more thing. We're going to go ahead and shout out our MP22 sponsors. All right. Because we, without you all, we could have not gotten this done. Um, so on the screen, you have our platinum MP22 sponsors. Woo! And these are our MP22 gold sponsors. Woo! Woo, look at all those things. They go heavy. Yes. Platinum, too. That's what I'm talking about. These <laughs> are our silver sponsors. Woo! Hallelujah. Bronze. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Product donations. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You guys have been absolutely awesome. You can't do ministry without money. Let me say that. Yes. You just can't. You can't do anything else in the earth without money. You got to have money to do ministry. But how many of us know that we, we know somebody yes. that owns all the cattle in the land? Hallelujah. <laughs> And we're going to always have everything we need. And so, Father God, we thank you. Father God, we thank you for this phenomenal cutting-edge ministry, Numa Church, that is planted here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, Father God. We thank you for, Father God, our, our father, our spiritual father, Dr. R.J. McCowan. Father God, we thank you for his life. Father God, we thank you for him being obedient to you, Father God, and you leading him as he leads us. And Father God, we pray that you continue to cover him and watch over him and bless him. Watch over our first family, Father God. Just touch their lives. Thank you for their labor of love, Father God. Thank you for all of the labor that they continue to give for your kingdom, Father God, on our behalf. Yes. And Father God, we thank you for this city. This city that we live in, Father God, is not what the world says it is. This city of Chattanooga, Tennessee, it is blessed. Yes. This city is highly favored. Hi. This city is a prosperous city. This city is a safe city. And Father God, we are very, very grateful that we will continue to thrive and be blessed as your people. I'm standing in front of a, bu a bunch of millionaires, a bunch of winners, Father God, a bunch of wealthy individuals. And Father God, I pray that as our children grow, that you will raise them up to be warriors for your kingdom, Father God. Allow for them to live for you out in the open and never be ashamed, Father God, to live for you. Lord Jesus, we just want to say thank you. This week will be the best week of our lives, Father God. Debt cancellation, promotions, gifts and surprises, checks in the mail, unexpected everything, Father God, that is good and perfect in your sight. 
Father God, we just want to say thank you. We as your people, Father God, we love you. As we leave from this place, but never from your presence, Lord Jesus, we pray for divine favor and heavenly protection as we go about. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.